Hey, you. Yeah, you. See this button right here? Press it. Subscribe to the channel. Shalom. But you did not know you was from the tribe of Issachar. You had no idea you was from the tribe of Manasseh. You didn't know that the Most High God, creator of heaven and earth, named y'all that. And now you know. That should make you, y'all should be hitting backflips right now. Watch this. 65, 15. Listen to this. Isaiah 65, verse 15. Uh -huh. And ye shall leave your name for a curse. Why? Why would God do that? Because we know what the conquistadors did. That's documented. Why would God leave your name for a curse? Why? Because it got to be a reason why he said that, right? I don't read the Bible. Now watch this. This today your lucky day because we're going to read it for you. Read it again. And ye shall leave your name for a curse mm -hmm. unto my chosen. Uh -huh. For the Lord, Lord God shall slay thee. He shall do what? Slay thee. Wow. Young sister, you know what it means for, to be slain? No. What does it mean to be slain? Mom, tell them what it means to, for somebody to slay you. Uh, you want to know? It means murdered, yeah. killed, put to death. Read it again. It's the words of God, y'all. For the Lord God shall slay thee. God will kill you and call his servants by another name. So you're not going to be called Manasseh anymore. You're not going to be called Issachar no more. You're going to be called Mexican right. and Cuban. Right. And now you guys are lost in the sauce and now when you wake up, you want to do everything a Mexican and a Cuban does. And you have no idea what somebody from the tribe of Manasseh or somebody from the tribe of, of Issachar would do. You have no idea. First John 5 and 3. I'm going to show you what y'all should be doing. Watch Bring this. I'm good. First John 5 and 3. Y'all might not have. You love God? We know you don't read the Bible. That, that, do you love God? Do you believe there's a God? I believe there's a higher power. Do you love that higher power or do you hate it? Okay, I fair enough. What about y'all? Y'all love God or y'all got mixed emotions about God? So y'all believe there is a God and y'all love God, right? All right, watch this. First John 5 and 3. For this is the love of God. So in case y'all didn't know how to love God and y'all had your own special way of loving God, the Bible going to tell you exactly how to do that, right? And we're going to deal with your mixed emotions. Read it again. For this is the love of God. To eliminate all confusion, this is how you love God. That we keep his commandments. How do we love God? That we keep his commandments. Uh -huh. And his commandments are not grievous. His commandments are not hard to keep. They're not hard to keep, right? Now, you like pink, right? Because you got the sweater on. You like that color, right? If we read in the Bible, thou shalt not wear pink, are you going to continue to wear it? Or are you going to throw everything pink away? Get out. <laughs> you might continue to wear it. But what if it was a commandment? That means if you, now if the, if the commandment says don't wear pink anymore and you continue to wear it, you know what that means? It means you don't love God. That's, right. that's, that's what it means. Good, that's the example. I mean, you like the example I just used? Yes, now, what's your mixed emotions about God? What's your mixed emotions? Hold on real quick, because what y'all about to go do? I gotta take them home. To I do take what? <laughs> Hold on, watch this. Watch this. What y'all finna celebrate? Watch this. Come here. I got something for you. What God say? Let's see what God say. Job 3 and 3. Let's see what God say. Let's just see what God say, right? Because there's 75 holidays in the Bible that we are commanded to celebrate. Easter is not one of them. Christmas is not one of them. Fourth of July, not one of them. Juneteenth ain't one of them. Cinco de Mayo is not one of them. Your birthday is not one of them. Read. Job 3 and 3. Y'all love God, right? See, everybody quiet now. The love of God is gone. Well, we're going to bring it right back. Read. Let the day perish wherein I was born. You know what perish means? It means the same thing as slain. Die. Let that day die, the day I was born. Read. And the night in which it was said, there is a man child conceived. Don't care. Don't trip off that night. Read. Let that, let that day be darkness. Let your birthday be darkness. Let not God regard it. God does not regard your birthday. So should you? Read. From above, neither let the light shine upon it. Don't let any light shine on that day, y'all. Read. Let darkness and the shadow of death stain it. Read.
Let a cloud dwell upon it. Why is God going into heavy detail about your birthday? Because he hates that day. Right. Read. Let the blackness of the day terrify it. Here go the commandment. As for that night, uh -huh. let darkness seize upon it. Read. Let it not be joined unto the days of the year. What's the commandment? Let it not be joined unto the days of the year. Read. Let it not come into the number of the months. He said, don't let it come into the number of the months. Now, this is an excerpt from the Satanic Bible. There is a Bible that people read that worship Satan. That's right. There you go, sir. Read this for the people. I oh, I, the, the part that's bold. The highest of all the holidays. What day? All holidays. The highest holiday for all Satan worshipers in the Satanic religion uh -huh. is the date of one's own birthday. Now, so, you can give him his phone back. Oh, no. Is it more on that? It, hey, now, wait. There's more. Read. This is in direct contradiction. You say what? Direct contradiction. Meaning it's going against. To the holy of holy days of other religions. Mm. Which defy a particular God who has been created in an, an, an anthropomorphic mm. form of their own image. Uh -huh. So the Satanist celebrates his own birthday as the most important holiday of the year. That's Satan worship, y'all. I mean, that's what the Bible say, right? That ain't what I say. I didn't write none of that. The Bible says this, right? This is what Satan worshipers do. Now watch this. Psalms 55, 19. We could drop that because that you got the picture on that, right? Y'all get the picture, right? Now the thing is, are we still going to do it? We heard what God said. We love God. We believe in God, right? Now we love y'all. That's why we telling y'all. You love your kids, right? That's why you should teach them this. That's why y'all life should be tailored behind this. Last one before you leave. Watch this. 5519. Psalm 5519. Uh -huh. God shall hear and afflict them. You think God don't know what y'all about to go do? He said God shall hear, meaning God sees what y'all are doing, and afflict them. Now, you know what afflict mean, right? No, he's going to hurt. You're going to get hurt. You're going to go through bad things, afflictions, right? Do you want your kids to be afflicted? Do you know the story of Job? What happened to his kids for celebrating their birthdays? They all got, got put to death. Now, we as your brothers, we don't want that to happen to you. We don't got to know you personally and grow up with you to, to not want to see you get put to death. We love your kids just like you love your kids. That's why we out here on a Friday night. We young men. You know what we could be doing on a Friday night? You see what I'm saying? But we out here for you. Why? Because we love you, sis. Read what you got. Watch this. I'm going to finish it out. God shall hear and afflict them. God know what you're doing. That's why we go through hell. Read. Even he that abideth of old. Say la. It's been going on since the beginning of time. It's been like that. When you do bad, bad things happen to you. Read. Because. Why? Because. Now God is going to explain why he afflicts us. Because they have no changes. Because they have no changes. They hear what the Bible say, and they don't want to do it. Read. Therefore, they fear not God. So you don't fear God?
face as you going through your whole life celebrating birthdays and not getting put to death for it. And now you come here and somebody shows you the word of God where he says don't do it. That's your grace. Now you know better. Now you know better. You didn't know till, till today. You had no idea till this moment, right? Now, this is your time to shine. This is your time to show the most high if you're a believer, if you love him, or if you're a sinner. Hebrews 10, 26. Watch this. Hebrews 10, 26. Because you heard the law, right? All right. We heard the law. Let's see if it's going to be changes. Watch this. Because you believe Christ died for your sins, right? Right? All right. Read that. Hebrews 10, 26. Uh -huh. For if we sin willfully, if we sin, meaning going against God's commandments, willfully, like if we do it on purpose, after that we have received the knowledge of the truth. Now, you just received the knowledge of that commandment, right? So after you receive it, which is now, and you continue to will willfully do it, there remaineth no more sacrifice for sins. Christ didn't die for that sin. He didn't die for that one. Because now you know and you continue to do it, right? Proverbs 28 and 9. Because you pray with your kids sometimes? Your mommy, mommy pray with y'all sometimes? Yeah, right? You pray, right? Let's see what happens to your prayers. Let's see if that's cool with God. You praying to him, but you don't do nothing that he tell you to do. Read. Proverbs 28 and 9. Uh -huh. He that turneth away his ear from hearing the law. Because we heard the law, right? If you turn your ear from hearing the law and continue to go against it, even his prayer shall be abomination. Make you do the ugly face. Even your prayer is abominable to God. Even your prayer is abominable to God when you hear the law and then you do whatever the hell you want to do regardless. Your prayer is disgusting to God. And God, look, I might joke around, God don't play no games. You see what I'm saying? God do not play games. He flooded the whole world. You remember that? Remember that? Remember he parted the Red Sea? And when the Egyptians came, he closed it on them? Remember he tore up Sodom and Gomorrah with fire? You remember that, don't you? What do you think he going to do to us? You see what he did to Christ? What are he going to do to us? What is he going to do to us? Romans 6, 23. Let's go, to the, let's go to the word writings of Paul. You know about Paul, right? I understand that, sis, but we, we, as long as we're here, we're just going to bring it out. You see what I'm saying? Now, if God say take off the pink jacket, what you going to do? Nah, God, this is my favorite. Is that what you're going to say? Nah, you ain't going to say that. Read what you got. Romans 6, 23. Uh -huh. For the wages of sin is death. Is what? Is death. Wages of sin is what? Death. I could drop the mic after that. You see what I'm saying? So check out the flyer, sis. We ain't doing nothing but reading the Bible. What is the nation? Nation is family. Nation is community. Nation is men leading by example. Nation is women's support. Nation is children with role models. Nation is unity. 